Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. South Carolina has been relentless in the pursuit of a conference championship. The journey has taken them through the meat grinder, the mid-portion of the schedule, and now just a few steps away if they can just reach out and grab that prize. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. South Carolina has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Davis fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. On the run. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Myrick's in a running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but he doesn't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. He's out of bounds at the 41. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. He makes it out to about the 44-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That makes it fourth and inches. Williams is the deep man awaiting the return. It's a short kick. South Carolina's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brad, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. From the 49-yard line, first down. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. That brings up second and one. At about the 25-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Goal. 
First down. Defense trying to hold their ground here. It's first and goal inside the five. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Miners ready to go to work in El Paso. The Miners' rushing attack can be difficult to stop. They get into the end zone for a touchdown. And for Roberts, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. The Miners are on top, 7-0. Middle of the first quarter. And for South Carolina, anytime you got a shot at moving up in the polls, you've got to be motivated. I'm sure that they're going to be keeping a close eye on that one. And he'll return this one from the seventh. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. South Carolina's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Offense lines up in a five-wide set, and a defense anticipating pass here. There's a strike complete. He's down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They'll spread the field with five wide. Complete across the middle. He's taken down at the 42. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. Fires that quickly, incomplete. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. into the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. South Carolina is up seven. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. First and 10, ball on their own 49. Complete. He's got room. Fumble. Loose ball. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. Young gets it on the inside. And they push him out at the 18-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 18 yard line. Ready! 
Gives it to the back. Runs outside for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. in and hit immediately for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. From the 16-yard line, third down. South Carolina is up a score. Big hit, he stopped at his tracks. South Carolina can make this a two possession game with this field goal. The kick is up, and he got it. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Cougars come into today's game ranked fourth. Hoping a win can move them up in the rankings. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Houston, a win today would cap a solid 10-win season. The Cougars lead 14-7. 10-0 in this one. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the 6. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The Gamecocks are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. They need to show a little giddy-up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's finally tackled at the 27-yard line. As we change into the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 10 0 game clock. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Ready! Three. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. Taken down at the 14-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. Touchdown, NC State! Such a talented, skillful back as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He makes the PAT. So a fourth play, 74-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Jones gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. Tackle at the 24. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. South Carolina is up by three. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. There's a very impressive open field tackle. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 35. Hey, 
Going deep. Can't connect. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. About the 47 yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 47. He's into the open field. Brought down around the 41 yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. To him again, and they make the stop at about the 39 yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way, he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From the 39 yard line, second down. So, an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Out of bounds around the 32 yard line. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. South Carolina holds a field goal lead. Gets out to around the 15. First down. Here's the eighth play of the series. The 10, the 5, touchdown, South Carolina! Splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time to get you up to date from Stillwater. The Wildcats deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Cowboys are on top, 21-17. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. They come out on an empty backfield. He's taken down around the 47-yard line.
Check, check. Spider. Spider. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change position. It's a short kick. The Gamecocks game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let him ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention. But he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. Quick throw Queen out to the receiver. Queen with the tackle at the 13-yard line. That'll, That'll make, make it, it second, second and four. four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hey, check my 26. Check my 26. Ready! Check, check. Thunder! Thunder! away here on third down. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. They're going to come up short here on this third down. The defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration, and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. it out to maybe the 39-yard line. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. South Carolina's got a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because... I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or you know change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You've got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? And he's tackled right away. First down. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Looks to his receiver, first down, and down he goes at the 42-yard line. First down.
from the 42-yard line. First down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved him back. to his wide receiver and he's got another one. That's a deal for two yards in the ball. That makes it first and ten. From the 30-yard line. First down. Two down, two down. Fires it out. Tackle made around the 15-yard line. That's a game 15 on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Makes it to the 12-yard line. receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Steps out of bounds at the 32. That makes it third and 11. Two times, two times. And he's taken down right around the 50. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. Myrick takes it left. He tackles him for a loss. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. From their own 48-yard line, second down. With 
with the pass incomplete. And this is the eighth play of the drive. So that'll make it fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Williams, the return man. Didn't get all of that one. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Five yards there for the quarterback. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. Tackled in the open field. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Setting up the play action. He's going to air it long. And he's immediately tackled. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and ten. On the ground, inside. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. First and ten. Ball on the 12. One more quarter to play. This one appears to be well under control. 24 to 7. Gamecocks. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. It's the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. From the 10-yard line, it's second down. Down at about the seven yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's the halfback on the screen, tackled for a loss. more than an extra point. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. South Carolina is ready to kick it away.
He's to the 20. At the 30. What a collision. The Gamecocks have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners. Everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Here comes the pressure. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He fights forward to about the 46. That'll bring up third and eight. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Less than three minutes in the game. He's wrapped up for the sack. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Takes the ball right. Makes it to the 27. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. The middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull out there, check the outs up there. Four down, four down. Hey, check white 46. Ready, white 80. White 80. Tackle at the 10-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. A little over a minute in the game. Tackled after decent pickup. That brings him second and goal. so confident every time they hand this kid the football that he's going to do something special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man. And, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them in a big way. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Wildcats were ranked number two, and after that performance, everyone knows why. And for Kansas State, they remain undefeated. The Wildcats victorious by 14. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Half 
back's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. He's taken down at the 47. Mercifully, this one is over. 34-7. Gamecock. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.